Bam, what's up guys? Here today to talk about this patch that's about to drop. And uh, Red King is here way earlier than I expected. Uh, now, generally, I wouldn't put something out on like patch updates and stuff like that. There are people that cover this stuff uh, all the time and much more thoroughly. They keep on top of this thing uh, just so much better, right? You know, I'm just here to mostly play the game. But I wanted to talk about this team that I've been keen on trying, and I'm not going to get to try it. So I just wanted to put it out there, because my free-to-play booty is not going to be able to, like, summon this sweet unit, because I've just spent all my gems on the green lily, uh, sorry, the blue lilia banner, uh, and I'm just going to have to save up and hope I get him eventually. But, uh, for those of you that do get lucky to have all the units, uh, in one place for this team, maybe, you, you know, you give it a shot, and you'll tell me how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to chuck it out there. We're about to get chapter 10. That's going to be cool. We'll go through that, you know, storyline on stream and stuff. The reverse stages are cool. I've got a lot of units built up. They're not all 80 would and stuff, but most of my uh, units are like 66 star awakened now. Like, almost all of them. I'm almost finished with that, right? Uh, including the R units, of course. So, uh, looking forward to all this extra stuff in the patch okay the maintenance uh we're on the countdown right now it's going to be up in a few hours we've got you know the uh the part one and part two drawers the part two drawers are as you can see there's like Escanor. this looks like a uh, rimuru from the collab event so that's pretty sweet uh you know we'll actually be able to have a chance at summoning these units uh again and uh yeah Anyways, I'm not here to talk about the patch specifically. I'm here to talk about Red King and what that's going to do to the meta. Like, just this this team, right? And I hope you guys can, like, jump in on me. You know, jump in on this with me. Because I think this is going to be sweet. So, I'm sure most people have been playing uh, with Valenti lately, right? So, uh, they've seen the Valenti teams. They probably hate them uh, to an extent, unless you're using it because uh, the matches go really slow. Valenti's got the passive that decreases all enemies pierce rate by the value of her resistance, okay, at the start of the battle. So she's got to be on the front line for her to uh, really take effect. Uh, her defense, like, she's got a single target def uh, decreased defense related stat skill. She's got an AOE attack related, like decreased attack related stat skill. And she's got an ultimate that inflicts rupture damage. Uh, on enemies, so good for like killing green barns uh, who buff themselves when they use extort, uh, when Arthur buffs someone, and uh, when Merlin tries to use a shield, or even Griamor, right? Those are the, the the top ones that I can think of off the top of my head right now. Okay, so ev everyone's kind of aware of Valenti, and if you're not, welcome, this is Valenti. Uh, she's great for countering the Pierce meta right now. However, we have Red King coming out, who also, in PvP, reduces pierce rate of all enemies by half, as well as reduces any additional pierce rate by half. <laughs> so the current kind of like anti-pierce comp is generally running resistance food, and if you're not, then uh, you're going to get hurt quite a bit. Um, they're also running like generally Merlin on the front line, okay, for the, uh, the alt pushback where uh, Merlin fills all allies' ultimate move gauge by one, helps you get your ultimate quicker. She can push back the enemy's ult gauge with her uh, first skill, and she can shield you with her second skill. So it, it just kind of helps with your tankiness and uh, helping you survive. It's kind of a control unit. And her ultimate can smack down blue Lilias and blue demon melees pretty decently. Uh, if you do like a pushback on an Escanor, a green Escanor, uh, you know, you can attack disable him as well for a couple of turns, you know, get some extra damage out there, though you're probably not going to one-shot him unless you've got a 6-6 ult. I do not because I am free to play as heck, which is, as I said, why I'm probably not going to get to play around with this uh, red fairy king for a while. Now, why is this so great? Okay, this is great, and we'll talk about backline units in a minute, but essentially your frontline would be like Merlin, Valenti, Red King. Okay, uh, so very similar to the current uh, Valenti comp where people are running like Valenti, Merlin, uh, Red Gautha, uh, 
or whoever like you know red gath is kind of like a replaceable unit uh but like merlin valenti fairly key units personally i wanted to try red helbrum i was actually going to start trying to build him uh because i was going to run like with red helbrum you can also push back uh the enemy and you can petrify the enemy and his ultimate uh debuffs the enemy so it like strips them of their buffs and then does some decent damage right uh but i don't have him up for his like you know i don't have his uh skill page up because we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about red king and how he fits into this team and just like it kind of breaks both current main meta teams uh team comps because what happens is currently we're seeing this like face off between uh, Blue Lily Pierce teams and Valenti counter Pierce teams, and then the other stuff in between. All right, these are the, like the two main metas right now. When we put Red King into this mix, right? Uh, so we've got the 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 Green Merlin for uh, control, the shield, the alt gauge. We've got Valenti for reducing Pierce. Okay, so very tanky. Most people run resist food, and then we've got. The Red King, who also reduces Pierce. So what does this do? This very likely... Now, I've never been able to use him with Valenti and... You know, I've never been able to use him in combination with Valenti and King before. But this... You know, you probably do not need resistance speed anymore. So number one, that is not the most important part of this, okay? So we counter Pierce teams. Okay, fine. Pierce teams, not something to be afraid of. Because we've got Valenti's passive, we've got King's passive. We probably don't need to run resistance food anymore. And we'll still counter Pierce teams, which means we can run attack food, we can run CC food, we can run coin foods uh, safely or safely. <laughs> Not a word, I know. Uh, we can run alt gauge food. You know, it opens us up to that entire world there. But you might be asking, okay. How do we deal with the Valenti teams? Well, guys, not only is Red King a red unit, his ultimate does shatter damage, which ignores resistance. So not only does this comp counter the new, you know, the Pierce comps, it also counters the Valenti comps. It counters its own comp as well. So his other skills here... The Saber's recovery skills will help with, like, Blue Lilia uh, trying to get heals out. They'll help with, like, Blue King trying to get heals out. And uh, just, like, this uh, explode skill. Now, I've never seen this in action, but its description is, like, additional damage. It, it kind of sounds like um, bleed and poison, but it goes off after a couple turns instead, which uh, it does sound pretty cool. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that is going to also be his skill for global. Uh, if it is, though, it sounds pretty cool. But uh, the point is, though, the main thing is that you're going to have this, like, uh, shatter ultimate, just like Blue King, but it's going to be on a red unit. So he's going to, like, specifically counter the mono green uh, Valenti team comps while also countering uh, units like Escanor. Because, you know, he's a red unit. He's going to do a lot more damage to Eskinor, especially when he starts ulting people. Uh, they're already countering the uh, the Pierce comps, right? <laughs> like, you're not going to have to worry about Pierce comps at all because you've got so much Pierce uh, resistance and reduction going on. Um, you're still going to have Merlin's shield. You're going to have the ultimate pushback from her first card. You're going to have the extra uh, ultimate move gauge. And because your your like resistance is so high, you're probably going to be able to just run alt food and just rush King's alt and Merlin's alt. Because whatever King doesn't kill with his ultimate... Um, so like if you face like a Pierce comp, like Blue Lilia and stuff, you just rush Merlin's ultimate and you nuke him with your single target Merlin ultimate, right? One out of six, six out of six... You know, you're just not going to take all that much damage. And when they try to take your uh, your ultimate away, well, you're just going to patience it. You don't care anymore. <laughs> now, how else, like, you know, who who can you pair with these for, like, your backline? Uh, you know, Gil Green Gil Thunder 
Here's what a lot of people are using for Valenti comps. Increases all allies defense related stats by 30% in PvP. If he comes out on the front line, he's got the rupture and the attack buff and the uh, the shock ultimate. Not, you know, he's, he's just mostly there for the passive for the back line. Uh, you've got Green Lilia for the attack reduction of 16% on all enemies in PvP. She's also just kind of decent uh, for the when she comes out on the front line. She'll continue to, uh, you can like stack attack related, uh, decreases attack related stats on an enemy when you've got her. Uh, as well as you've got this weakness card, which increases the amount of damage the enemy will take. And when she's got her ultimate, she can decrease skill ranks and steal the uh, enemy's ultimate move gauge, right? You've also got uh, Gre uh, SR Griamor here, Red Griamor. He increased for PvP specifically. So the reason I've got Griamor here instead of uh, like SSR Arthur is because Arthur only does human related stats. Whereas uh, Grimoire does all allies in PvP, okay? So this will uh, affect everyone. And increases HP-related stats, which also in includes lifesteal. So, like, you'll be able to lifesteal uh, when you use your ultimates. Uh, so you'll be taking, like, hardly any damage. You'll lifesteal back your HP. And you'll ignore resistance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're using Grimoire, that is. Also, when he pops out, he's got a 600% of attack on one enemy, uh, like single target attack. It ranks up. It's pretty. Yeah, it's a it's a good card, and he's also got his own shield. So let's say they they like try and attack and kill uh, Merlin first, right? You've got another shielder to pop out for you, and uh, he's got a ultimate that hits AOE, hits all enemies, decreases their attack related stats. Yeah, he's all around solid unit for an SR. Okay, and then you've also got uh, SR Red Liz, so Tavern Liz, and uh, if you put her on the back line for her passive, it's just a little bit more, it's it's like a sort of passive healing for your frontline units, so that they are uh, less likely to get killed uh, before the enemy does, right? You know, heals for 10% of their max HP at the start of the next turn when taking damage, so anyone that takes damage, you're going to heal like 10% of their HP back. It does help a little bit. You know, maybe it's not the best backline, but it's like it's like one of the better ones in regards to like uh, just having like that kind of heal going on in the background, right? And when she does come out, she can attack, you know, she can disable attack skills. She uh, can fill your ultimate move gauge up when she heals. She doesn't have any kind of cleanse though, and her ultimate will put a uh, heal over time on you, which is very powerful. Uh, you know, she's she's like she's not gonna kill anything though. Put it that way. <laughs> if Grimor pops out, he, he might kill something. But uh, if Red Liz pops out, probably not gonna you know probably not gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, like this is a team that I've like really wanted to like when I saw Red King and I was like, oh yes, we can totally pair Valenti and Red King together. You know, just like abuse the heck out of this. Because it pretty much counters every meta team right now, uh, including itself. It's it's literally just going to be like rush for Red King's ultimate, and whoever can get it off first, uh, the opponent's going to take a heck ton of damage. If they don't die straight up, um, to like King Shadow ultimate, they're they're still going to be pretty low. <laughs> and uh, a lot of Valenti teams don't run heals, right? Which is where Red Liz comes into it. Uh, if you, you know, wanted to bring a healer, okay? Whereas, a lo and a lot of Pierce comps, while they do run heals, um, you don't really have to worry about it as much because you can just nuke, like, they're nowhere near as tanky as you are. And you're not going to have to fear the, uh, you're not going to have to fear the Pierce comp anywhere near as much as you are going to have to fear, like, another Red King coming in to ruin your day because of all your resistance, right? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, if anyone does try it, let me know uh, how it goes. Because it's going to be a little while before I can personally give it a go myself. But uh, I'm keen to see how this, if this picks up. Just like, in general. Because my videos don't get a lot of views. But this is a team that I'm like, there's no way people aren't going to see this. And they're not going to run it. Like, you're going to be tanky as heck. 
you're going to ignore resistance, you're going to have alt pushback, and it's just, it's going to be such a powerful comp in the current meta uh, until some other units come out. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there for now, guys. And uh, hopefully, you know, you guys are as keen for uh, Red King as I am. Maybe you're going to be like, oh man, this is going to be so toxic. And it honestly, it probably will be. Anyone that's Anyone that starts running this team, I think, is gonna have a good time in PvP for a while. At least uh, as far as I can as far as I can tell with how all these skills kind of synergize together. I'm I'm keen to see what happens. Anyways, peace out guys. Hope this was uh somewhat informative. And uh hope to see you guys around. Wow.